begin with a transition of power at the State House. In just over 12 hours from now, Governor-elect Lincoln Chafee will officially be sworn in as Rhode Island's first independent governor. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live outside with the Mobile Newsroom with a preview of tomorrow's inauguration. Well, Mike, Governor-elect Lincoln Chafee has spent the day attending other people's inaugurations, but he says tonight he's excited for tomorrow, and he says he is ready to start his job at the State House. A quiet and cold night at the Rhode Island State House Monday night, but come Tuesday morning, hundreds expected to attend a historic inauguration for Governor-elect Lincoln Chafee. Chafee will be the first independent sworn in as Rhode Island governor, and already he tells us he's written and rewritten his speech. Well, it always takes a couple of drafts, a number of drafts to get uh, any speech uh, in order, and particularly one that's as important as uh, becoming governor of Rhode Island. Chafee says his main message Tuesday will be well, unity sure. for the state. I do anticipate some uh, cool weather, and so I think the main thing is keep it short and hit the main themes that I want to pursue in my four years in office. Main themes being what? We're coming together, making sure people are pulling on the oars together on the boat that is Rhode Island. And he also says some of his first items to tackle in the State House include pension reform. Particularly at the municipal level, and we're here in Cranston where uh, one of their uh, local municipal pensions is under uh, difficult funding uh, uh, situation. So getting together on those many, many issues, there's no shortage of issues. The swearing-in will happen at noon on the south portico of the State House, and Chafee says he's taking it as his first day on the job. I'm getting ready to go to work. I can't wait to uh, get in and get our good team of people uh, working well together, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, and I know the a potential of Rhode Island is just limitless, and uh, that's our goal. So the message tomorrow will be about coming together as a state and unity. Again, all of this starting tomorrow at noon. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.